Yo, hello, hello, just coming at you with a little, a little quick mini podcast, podcast update, more of like a uh, deep thought suggestion box, just on uh, all this Twitter frenzy, look, uh, yeah, I don't know, I certainly am happy to poke fun at all of it and just, uh, wait a minute, give Mr. Musk a chance a little bit here, I mean, uh, really, you act like this platform is in any way, like, infallible here with respect to fairness or, like, communications in general, right? And, like, you know, we wouldn't want to jab them, right? But, uh, look, uh, I just think, like, there's a whole climate of, like, if we're not allowed to even, like, the little people, like, poke fun at, like, the big shot social influencers or, like, even replay their stuff or, like, string them along and, like, you know, what is the difference between, like, a totally perfect, like, infancy or, like, salesperson or whatever and, like, just people not even looking to do that. Just want to, like, wait a minute. Be, you're allowed to be yourself uh, on public platform, Right? You don't necessarily need to shoot for perfection in how you present yourself to the world either. I mean, like, you're allowed to have your two cents. And if people try to, it seems to me that, like, pop culture or whatever, it's gotten to the point where people aren't even allowed to engage, like, people dubbed the other side or whatever, just dissenters, even in any kind of open platform discussion, because to do so would be to, like, even normalize, like, talking to that person or whatever. Like, they don't do that while at the same time, like, da-da-da-da about it. And, like, it does seem to me like the algorithms are messed up, actually, Twitter. Uh, so I know, like, no one knows why that would be important at all. I mean, like, if you, well, I mean, like, you know, or there's just the like, I don't know, there's lots of ways that like if you could if you could all just somehow figure out the truth of like any public square. If you've ever been to New York, I mean, like you do have to tolerate certain things like uh, but yet there's still there's still s disorderly conduct. One's not pointing out that you couldn't like, you know, uh, in good faith try to, like, police or pluck where necessary, you know, while actually, like, trying to cop to that standard. Because last time I checked, there's all kinds of people that, like, you know, like, they're allowed to say what they wish in a city square. Uh, even a subway gets annoying because sometimes you're not allowed to panhandle. And, like, you know, we try to, like, <laughs> I don't know. But the point is, like, people are allowed to express what they want and not feel like they're going to be, it's almost like you're just trying to edify and the mind of the young, you have to espouse like this or that happens, right? And then you can't be cool with the like likes and the clicks. And I mean, it, it does, you know, uh, wait a minute, to the mind of the young, like that, that is a very convenient way to kind of subvert uh it's a bully pulpit and uh sometimes it does seem like it gets uh the youth into trouble because they're looking to insincere people who don't necessarily like why is it so important to you that uh mr musk not own the company i mean mr bing is also mr skype i wish him well bill gates that in it he uh he does do philanthropy right but like you know, like what it, like you well, Mr Bezos has the newspaper right New York uh posters it's the Wapo <laughs> it's the Wapo <laughs> but uh wait a minute so if that's fine like why do you draw a like free speech no like wait a minute you know you've been scheming You've been, they've been, they've been sneaking, they've been scheming, and they don't even cop to it a little bit. And I find it a little repugnant, actually, that, like, the one, uh, uh journalist on MSC, Ari, uh, whatever, you know, he's up there, he's like, you know, in the same breath that he's demonizing anyone who might attack Twitter as it currently sits, as, like, nuts and out of place... But then in the same exact breath, he's going to say, like, now, like, they can, like, you know, with algorithms and stuff, like, one side might not have a voice. And, like, you know, candidates can be, like, flushed out and, like, this and that. And stories can be censored and da-da-da-da. And that can really, like, lead to the... I mean, like, 
all the things that like that wow that i mean you really must have like that would be very tricky to like outdo like hypocritical comment of day for like any counterpart on any side i mean tucker sometimes he can be a little bit bitter right? but then like i don't know no he would he would yield to that one for the day i mean that's just like that is pot calling kettle black and that's exactly been the problem it's it's too fake like if you're not allowed to be sincere to the point of like if if you feel the need to express yourself on the public platform you're not really like that interested in like being dragged it be i mean there's this whole thing you obviously use like twitter facebook the whole thing for and like i know from trying to reason with people with the uh with after what happened with uh george floyd and you know caring just as much but then seeing how it like pivoted in like what people were saying and then you try to push you try to push back while while completely understanding why people are upset and just saying but like with the crazy violence in a response to it that's not that's not how we should do it even George Floyd's family from day one said that right is that one idiot that like smashes a window and like throws like fire at that one like auto zone and like and then like you see what happens from it's almost like if we just can't get to the bottom of instead of it's far right or far left it's all it's some idiot right and then they like certain things if you go back and look at how people get pushed into like st i don't know it just seems like they hijack like movements or anytime there's there could be like legitimate understanding of or reform or whatever it is they get in the way of it on purpose and then if you try to push back against the most flagrant people who with the like on a dime are like you know now this way uh then you're zoop that's why they get rid of you or whatever that's what i contend that was my experience a little bit with it after like even this i mean with that with that particular incident i know i'm not alone like, you cannot be that militant about it, right? Like, if I take even a little exception to, like, some meme that verbatim says, like, America is not in any way, like, different than Nazi Germany, nor are we any, like, you know, like, that doesn't make me bad if I disagree with you. Even, if, albeit, like, you're entitled to your opinion, I don't think you're right. I don't think socialism is, like, that much better. But, like, just for stuff like that like why are the only people who i can like <laughs> it just seems like the whole thing needs a little bit of a like haul over because with the bots and the like twitter class or whatever like we don't know who any of those people are or any need to just in general maybe let's just respect all like you're allowed to be yourself you're allowed to make a mistake and learn from it you're allowed to post snarky comments and then people say, oh, you, and then you, well, maybe I should. Like, well, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should. Like, some, some things, like, really depends. You should be yourself and, like, but the way they want to police the mind of, like, pretty much everyone, but particularly the next generation, you know, so the current 35 to 44-year-old, like, just for the rest of their life with these ones. I mean, it's stupid. They'll just listen to them. It's basically like a certain amount of calculus. I mean, like it's a, it's beyond a double standard because they're afraid to do anything that might like open them up to seeming human or like not perfect or like whatever. But it but in so doing, I mean, like you are, I don't know, you people people are happy to not give the benefit of the doubt once to large swaths of whoever. But then someone like me, oh, the, every benefit of every doubt is given. And it's just like, uh, why you can't be selective with like individualism. Like the woke mob will like this and that about demographics. But then like, if you say, well, what if like, you know, they, but they're still happy to cancel anyone from like their favorite like communities that like step out of line with the like Democrat ideology of the day or whatever. So, I mean, like, you know, whether it's, uh, whether it's Caitlyn Jenner, right, who is like a founder of like, 
you know, trans rights and like a, you know, one of the, you know, just person who like had a significant like uh, help in like changing like it, in acceptance for that community. Oh, no, no, they don't like her anymore because she's like too Republican for that. Or, you know, like or Candace Owens, right? She's a young black person. She sticks up to stands up to authority. She says stuff. She like she's she's she sticks to her guns with how she feels. And like, you know, you instead of rewarding like any type of like looking at it differently. around. Oh, no, 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 no. Like. She's more racist, she's more white supremacist than, like, you know, Stalin and Mao combined, right? Or whatever, like, you know, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, when you can point to, like, quotes like that, go back to quotes like that. Like, this is not, like, it, for, for people, like, from 2015 through, like, what, I mean, like, you don't want to hurl those, like, comments lightly or whatever. I mean, uh, jeez. Wow, wow, although, I mean, wait a minute. We don't, we have to, if anyone did the Two-Face Club where, like, they're so cool because they, like, do, do, do. I mean, like, really, that's kind of like, you could just, like, we could just show ourselves to each other and admit, yeah, we don't quite want that. I mean, like I said, there's a certain club who, like, wait a minute, your business is a country, actually. Like, we don't... Please, please, uh, please help, you know what I mean? Like, uh, and then, uh, we just hope, like, uh, people understand that, like, wait a minute. You do, ultimately, none of us are in control, and if you do find yourself somebody with a lot of, like, responsibility or power, power, when I'm like, you know, wait a minute, it's, it's responsibilities, like, you can't, you can't turn a blind eye to the point where, like, you know, this stuff, and now, like, we're, we're, we're super, like, the, uh, like, the other governments that, like, do that to their populace with the news and the stuff, I mean, you're brazen. So, like I said, I give credit to the war coverage, like, it seems like, uh, people are doing a pretty good job with that. Uh, however, like, domestically, with, I mean, wait a minute, I think we can do better, actually, and particularly when people can't, accept people on the, I, I don't know. It just seems like you'll get punished real quick for such things. Uh, no one's interested in it. You have to be perfect. You're, you're like dupe. You're ostracized. You're not told what you do. Like, nope, not once. It's bizarre. Um, <laughs> it seems mean. You can't, I mean, like, the very people who are anti-bully don't notice that problem on mass to whoever at all, like, that psychological double standard of it, let alone, like, you know, <laughs> love it best. What? So, I mean, we just, let's just, I think if people could use social media, like, like with a grain of salt or, like, you can't be so militant about some things uh, that are cutthroat to the point of, of, like, there has to be some understanding of, like, respecting, like, people completely different who you disagree with. Like, how you, like, treat the person you disagree with on that or is doing the most damage. <laughs> Excuse me. If they are in power, right, you still have to, um, you can't hate them to the point where you don't wish them the best or, and, like, hope they they do something uh, wise with the, with the spot they find themselves into. And if you know they're not gonna, then you just hope that, like, you know, others push back against it, like, in a wise, peaceful, effective manner. Because when you have democracy, in theory, you can, like, just vote people out and in the meantime, like, stomach and deal with them. But, like, when the policies seem to get crazy en masse real quick, right? Like, our country, uh, we should just, you know, you could always just fall back on the, like, we're all American here thing a little bit because we are. And, uh, you know, we should try to, stick together a lot more than like 
it seems Twitter wants us to think like people actually already do. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like we can uh, do a little better uh, with respect to, and how can free and fair communications or like, open discourse or like, you know, like I said, like, it is never like the moderator with the like, you know, crazy left wing social commentator and crazy right wing social commentator and like, but they're like together actually trying to flush out problems, maybe like, you know, Q and A's, things that like, where you actually want to be constructive. They don't want that. They don't want free, they don't like free thought, let alone free speech. Because how could they possibly be connected and what would the internet have to do with that, right? Let alone, like, uh, when you can and can't talk about anything, uh, like, uh, you know, in particular, like, uh, I mean, wait a minute. You know, that's not how you... <laughs> we should just try to be uh, nicer to each other, I think, right? And uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, I ain't perfect, that ain't it. Uh, I don't think you're perfect, so, like, really, like, <laughs> I'll agree to disagree with you on that one, if you want, if it's really worth it, but, like, um, no, you still have to try to, uh, I, I know, for me, it's honesty that's the problem here with, like, lack of honesty, lack of wanting to, like, hash things out on purpose, while do 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 and like then it seems like the algorithm boosts the most hateful vile stuff on both sides and like you know just so you can see like how nasty and you get no sense of like p p people who wouldn't say all that but like wait da da da, -da, -da about it <laughs> i mean like when you denigrate everyone as like either a like commie like socialist i'm not even going to talk to on that side or like a you know complete racist uh narcissist like you voted for that one like to any i mean it's it's a little like i said it's selective individualism when we're all individual actually and however you know you're not going to get anywhere where it's just shouting down and bloop, like, you know, especially when, like, one of the most extreme, like, the very people who they're in their quest to, to help, like, you know, like minorities or something or equity are, uh, you know, going to raise a lot of money, right? Like, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. What they're going to do is make a whole industry out of, like, books and things and hire themselves and this and that, and right, in the name of... And, like, not a dime will be, like, given to whatever, Patterson, New Jersey, or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, we can try to, with rational thought, like, I think you'll find some stuff doesn't even cost money. Because if you have an environment where people uh, are, feel safe and secure, right, and are happy, like, if we have a country where we know, like, everybody doesn't hate each other anymore, like, that goes a long way, like, just for one thing, uh, and while, like, there's no way to force an individual, I mean, wait a minute, when you're trying to brew a culture that, like, wait a minute, there is a little psychology going on with the algorithms that's overtly no good, all right, and you should, you should applaud anyone, especially, Someone like Mr. Musk for wanting to look into that. Um, because you cannot, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, when it comes to communications, like it would, you, you, you cannot in the name of to stomp out all like whatever, uh, do what has been done with it in the past by the people in charge overtly. And, Rather than, if you were smart, you should just embrace some kind of free web and just learn from, like, we don't do that anymore. Here's all the ways, like, the, the tech companies might get you in the future if you don't look out for it. But here we're telling you because we don't do that anymore, right? So that would be, like, free internet. Like, OMG. Like, no, it would be a good issue, right? Because the more speech and information and, like, abilities to post, like, what, like anything like you know 
everybody knows the internet is full of you can type anything and find out like three three sets of information for it i mean two of them are going to be i mean it's the internet it's the world of too much information as opposed to not enough information from day one uh you should you know but nah it seems like more than anything you're really wanting to like with the social media like iron fist and then certain news articles or certain things or like certain, you know, it just seems like the whole thing needs to be reformed. No one knows how to reform it better than the people currently like violating it, whether in the press or in the government or in the social media companies, let alone the Congress, let alone like combined, let alone with all the like paid troll people who like know enough about like how they could like you know, actually reform it to the point of like some good faith, even if it adds accountability to like certain things, like that's what happens in a free country. And again, like, it seems like there's a lot of pushback from people who normally would champion free speech, or even if it's offensive, someone can can say that in a set list or whatever it is, right. But I mean, it's all, you know, I don't know. I think if you follow money, right, you always seem to see who's like dupe versus dupe about it. But there are ways to, no, wait a minute. There are ways to be far more uh, strong and everybody can continue to, in this country, like do a lot to innovate and all, and all this stuff. But when you clamp down on, you know, like not only does it take away op opportunities and ideas and like, you know, conversations don't happen that could lead to, like, some kind of idea that maybe companies get behind and then, like, you know, it could help a community or, like, a group of people. But there's no ability to do that right now because, like, people would never, right? You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like, when why not? I mean, uh, we're all, we all live here together, right? Well, no matter what, it is called the United States of America and it is one thing that unites all people like who are currently living in this particular country. All right. Um, let alone we're not that different than the other countries. Um, but I think we need a global new world order to replace UN, like UN, but even stronger. Yeah. And like, whatever you're trying to like, we, the UN has to get the head out of their ass. That ain't it. But like, uh, let's, let's try to figure out a way to help everything. Like if, if there's, if people go into their corners and they don't show themselves and their hearts to each other, right? Like, they don't want to, like, go there or whatever, like... It, and then they're propping up, like, the fakest of the fake to, like, you know, here's why you want things. Oh, well, they could do all the right words, but, like, they know they don't, like, you know, execute or I mean, there's, like, hate and then there's musk hate. You know, right? They'll just shoot, like, what could be the difference between people like that and actual people who are like, I mean, <laughs> wait a minute, just say how you feel or whatever. See what happens. And then, like, you can, like, you do depend on others to, like, uh, give you, like, you know, converse back in order to, well, that's what I say when then certain people, like, never once. Nope, you think, nope, never once. <laughs> so, like, it's, and you do your best in, like, a vacuum to, like, do to do about it, which... That also should be looked into a little bit, I think. All right. Well, have a very nice day. It's my two cents on social media. It's not a mini podcast. I guess it's a podcast. But uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.